There is no bigger day in tournament walleye fishing than today. Day three of the 2016 Cabela's National Walleye Tour Championship from Mobridge, South Dakota. 85 boats launched onto Lake Oahe on days one and two. And now we're down to the top 10. These guys are ready to lay it all on the line. They're fishing for a total purse worth more than $300,000. They've got eight hours until weigh-in, and the clock starts now. The biggest day in walleye fishing for 2016 is today. It is championship day here at the National Walleye Tour. What does championship mean? Championship means lives and careers change forever. Everybody tries to get to this game day. We started out back in Lake Erie in April, and what a ride it's been. But we're down to the final 10 boats, and everybody is chasing Jason Shakur after a couple of stellar days here on Lake Oahe. On day one, 85 boats launched onto Lake Oahe under tough conditions. High winds buffeted the region, blowing upwards of 35 miles per hour forcing many anglers to endure bone-crunching runs of more than 100 miles. At the end of day one, it was Jason Shakurit, the pro from Stevens Point, Wisconsin, fishing out of the bone collector boat, on top with a two-pound lead over the rest of the field. After an overnight storm, day two dawned clear, but winds were expected again, this time from the north. Despite being up against some of the best in the country, Jason Shakurit's program paid off once again, and he extended his lead going into the third and final day by nearly seven pounds. Something I always dream about, you know, winning a championship. Won just about everything else in the, in the walleye world except the championship uh, in the National Walleye Tour, so I want to get it done. Here's a look at the Cabela's top 10 on both the professional and co-angler side. For the complete list of standings, please visit nationalwalleytour.com. Looking at the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year, at the end of day two, Ed Stahusky finished out the tournament in 11, giving him the points needed to lock up the biggest title in tournament fishing. You are the best of the best throughout the entire 2016 season. I, I can't believe it. It's it's such an honor. Uh, it, it means so much that uh, words can't describe it. And here's a look at the final top 10 point standings. Moving right into day three, we're on the water, ready to release the Cabela's top 10 onto Lake Oahe for the final day of competition. Jason Shakurit leads the pack. By no means is it easy to go out there and just find, find those big fish, but uh, this week I've seemed to get it done so far. Pretty slow, pretty slow start to the day right now. It's uh, nine, nine, 10 in the morning. We have no fish in the box, but you know, kind of had that feeling in the back of my mind that after two big days of wind like that, and you come out in a spot calm, it's, you're gonna have a slow start to the day. And uh, that's what it's happening right now. I got a few little ones, but you know, little 10, 11 inches. So they're gonna bite at some point today. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a midday deal, but patience is the game out here. It's, Telling Tyler, it's like, you know, nothing, 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 then one seven pounder comes with the boat and it changes the whole mindset and everything. So, but, uh, it's, it's a slow start, but gotta stay positive and stay patient. We'll get him. Moving on from the leader, we'll check in with the Cabela's pro Kevin McQuoid and his co angler from Amherst, Wisconsin, Tyrone Larson. Right now we're fishing some. Some flooded timber, it's uh, some of the original stuff. So we're right on the original creek edge. Um, it's about 95 to 100 foot of water. <clears throat> and that's so that's the original cottonwoods probably that are down there. They're coming up to about 50 to 60 feet as the tops of them. And we're kind of brushing right along the top edge. So how we're doing it today is I'm, I'm running a, <clears throat> a uh, 20 pound fire line to start with. Goes down to a three way swivel. And then on that three-way, I've got a snap that I'll put an eight ounce um, weight to help get us down to that, that number. And then a, uh, about a five foot fluorocarbon, um, 15 pound Berkeley leader, and then right on to the, the crankbait from there. So with that, and then the line counters here, I can set them back down to the exact depth 
and we can play within just a few feet of the top of those trees and keep things consistent. We've got better than $300,000 on the line here, and we're just getting started. Coming up, championship coverage continues from Mobridge, South Dakota, and the Cabela's National Walleye Tour Championship. It's in our stomping grounds, in our playground. It's in our sights and our commitment. It's in him, it was in them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? The FS Multi-Species Series from Ranger. With a host of pioneering features in every model, it's a revolutionary leap forward. Coupled with Evan Rudy e Tech's unrivaled performance and up to 500 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance, the world of fishing will never be the same. Experience the unparalleled ride and water crushing strength of every FS hull. More than raising the bar, they're setting a whole new standard. Power your Ranger with Evan Rudy e Tech. Introducing a revolutionary concept in outboards, a choice. Now with the Evan Rude E-Tech G2, you can choose unrivaled performance, superior fuel economy, and the cleanest combustion outboard on the planet. Choose from hundreds of color combinations to perfectly match your boat. And choose five years or 500 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. Experience the power of choice at chooseyouretech.com. Put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you in part by Cabela's. It's in your nature. By Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. Lucas Oil, it works. Welcome back to Lake Oahe. This is day three of the 2016 Cabela's National Walleye Tour Championship. Let's get right back into championship coverage with Poinette, Wisconsin's Robert Blosser. He started the day in fourth. He's fishing with co-angler Andy Seegers. So we're actually fishing over the top of flooded trees. And if you take a look here, you can see all the trees, the old growth down there uh, before the reservoir was flooded. And basically what happens is, you know, we're in about 15 feet of water and the trees or brush, so to speak, is, is comes up about five feet off bottom. So we've got 10 feet above the trees to fish. And what we're trying to do is we're running our crankbaits and just barely ticking the tops of the trees and using the down scan on my Lorance, I can actually see the fish in the trees and see where they're positioned, whether they're down at the base or in the middle or, or way up high. And when we're pulling crankbaits like this, what we're looking for is those fish to be halfway up the tree or all the way at the top. Now, when you get into situations where they're buried down there, we'll actually change our presentation and go to a bass style spinner bait because that's something we can put down right into the trees and it doesn't get hung up like a crankbait would do. It's the smallest fish I've seen here. Jason Shakirat is your tournament leader. 
He started the day with a nearly seven pound lead over the rest of the field. Jason and co-angler Tyler Nickel are fishing the same pattern as the rest of the field, dragging crankbaits over deep trees flanking the old river channel. You know, these the trees that I focus on are right off the old river channel, the main river channel, you know, the hundred and some feet river channel. And I'm, and I'm looking for outside bends on those river channels. So when it comes out of the, the deep channel up on the shelf, you know, right now I'm in 100 feet up on the shelf and the trees are topping out at about 50. Um, the outside bends of the rivers is where I look for those. If you've got a shelf on the outside of the river bend, that's, that's what I do. And then you just basically troll that whole outside bend and uh, the fish will tell you where they're living. I mean, you'll get, you'll get nothing, 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 then bite, 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 and then nothing. So that tells you which trees they prefer, what sections, and you just try and duplicate that pattern all over the place. Following along the contour of the old river channel, Jason finally gets a hook into fish number one. I'll bring them right to you and don't, don't forget about dropping the net, okay? Yeah. Remember, anglers can put up to eight fish in the live well that includes a maximum of two overs. They'll weigh their best five. You gotta start somewhere, and a 20-incher looks way better than a 14. <laughs> we'll get them. Walleye. Nope. Wisconsin's Robert Blosser Can't and tell. his co-angler Andy Zeger have been struggling this morning. He's finally starting to put something together. Don't stop. Nice. There we go. Oh, your arms feel perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's getting better. That helps the cause. See, these fish are a lot fatter than the fish up north. These fish are eating wake herring, where most of the fish up north are eating gizzard shad, and they're a lot shallower. But this one, victim to a spinner bait, going for a boat ride. Ton Locke started the morning in second after sacking up 12.05 on day two. He's making the phone call that no angler ever wants to make. Anthony, it's Don Locke. Hey, brother. I blew my motor. Oh, my God. We'll be right back with more tournament coverage from Mobridge, South Dakota, and the 2016 Cabela's National Walleye Championship. For schedules and registration for 2017, visit nationalwalleytour.com. 29 pounds, three ounces! Edwin Evers here, 2016 Bassmaster Classic Champion. In celebration of Lowrance winning the last five Bassmaster Classics, we're gonna extend the ultimate upgrade promo. If you buy an HDS Gen 3 with Structure Scan 3D, we're gonna mail you a $300 rebate. Five Bassmaster Classic Champions in a row. That doesn't happen by chance. That happens because these units are the best. Not all water is created equal. It's why Stratus builds multi-species boats to take on the pressure of the rough stuff while reinforcing comfort, confidence, and convenience. Inside, the specially engineered construction is designed for an exceptional ride and superb handling features. The Stratus Excursion Series. The right quality, the right performance, all at the right price. Forty-nine million Americans struggle to put food on the table. Please consider donating a portion of your hunt this season to help feed those in need. Find out more at ramtrucks.com. Mercury engine tap. Lightweight power you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you.
The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you in part by Ram Trucks. Guts. Glory. Ram. Evan Rood. Proven power. Proven reliability. And by Boat US. Take us with you on the water. Mobridge, South Dakota, and the 2016 National Walleye Tour Championship. This is day three, and the clock is ticking. We've got the top 10 professional and co-anglers on the water, fishing for their share of the more than $300,000 total purse. Jason Shakurid started the day as your tournament leader. We'll check in with him shortly, but for now, we'll catch up with Isle, Minnesota's Kevin McCoyd. He's fishing with co-angler Tyrone Larson. This is their first fish of the day. Okay, we'll take that one. Nice job. I'm gonna measure him to see how long he is. Tie it to this uh, libel button. About 19 and a quarter, so but perfect size, perfect size slot fish for Lake Oahe. About 19 and a quarter. We need two more of these and then two big ones. It feels good. We finally got the skunk out of the box. Uh, it's about 20, 25 after 11. Um, beautiful fish, so 19 and a quarter inches. Out here, that's that perfect slot fish we're looking for. So we'll, uh, we just got pulled up on this spot. We made a change here about 15 minutes ago, and uh, we're gonna turn on this one here and see if we can multiply. Back on the leader, Jason Shakurit. Like most of the field, he's pulling crankbaits over deep trees. It got him to day three, and he's not giving up yep. on it yet. Yeah, I just made a move. Things weren't happening where we were, and came back to one of my other spots here around the corner, and. Got a little bit of a chop. I don't know if that matters that much here, but you know, it's a whole new location, different section of the river, different outside turn, and you know, caught two in a little short area there. So we're just gonna finish this up and the trees are gonna end up here real fast. They're gonna stop and I'll turn around and then go back through right where I caught them. Checking back in on Robert Blosser and his co-angler Andy Zeger. Well, here snaked up as soon as it popped out. Yeah? Yep. Don't stop reeling. Back on Kevin McQuoid and Tyrone Larson. If it keeps, this will be fish number two. Nice, and popped off just as you... Nice, there's our one over. It's not a giant, but we're gonna take it today. It looks like probably about a 21 incher. I'll measure it here in just a second. Oh, settle down, fish. Easy, you gotta spit your belly up. Gonna open that live well behind you too. 22 inches. Perfect. There you go. Things are really looking up. It's, uh, we still have three more to go, but from having a, a skunk in the box here 15 minutes ago, this is feeling a lot better now and being, still being in one of the spots that I have a lot of confidence in. So we'll, uh, we've got time now and life is looking up. The, the sun's getting even brighter. Jason Shakurit started the day nearly seven pounds ahead of the field, but at midday, he has just two fish for maybe five pounds. Well, it's that magical time when you gotta decide what to do and I'm just not biting. I can't get a, I can't even catch the little ones here and I can't. I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna have to make a move and make something happen. I gotta, I got running out of time. It's 12:30 already, and it's 12:30, and I can't 
can't figure them out, so I need to relocate. Just burning daylight is all I'm doing here. With time running out on the day, our cameras are wrapping it up and heading back to Mobridge, South Dakota for the final weigh-in. It all comes down to this. The 2016 season, we've had three qualifying events, and this is our third day of the championship on Lake Hawaii here in Mobridge, South Dakota. The anglers have had a great week here in Mobridge, but everybody is chasing Jason Securit. The question of the day, the third day, the final day of the season is, can anybody catch him? The weigh-in is next. Stay with us. Coming up, we'll head to the final weigh-in and crown our champions. Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low-cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24-7. Visit BoatUS.com. Triton Boats, the long leader in performance, fishability, and quality for bass anglers and for coastal fishermen, now offers the Fish Hunter Series, the best walleye boats anywhere. Big, deep boats built to take on rough water season after season. The 216 and the 186 boast wider transoms, cavernous storage, the biggest live wells in class, and Triton's famed lifetime limited warranty. Go ahead, make it tough on the competition. Visit your Triton dealer today. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are, but now the silence is about to break. With the incredible new iPilot Link, your Minn Kota and Hummingbird can communicate with each other, so you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, follow any Lake Master depth contour, and more, all automatically and all from your Hummingbird or the Link remote. They talk, and you'll be speechless. Lucas Oil Marine Products, established by performance, built on quality and proven on land and sea. Lucas Marine Products offer a complete lineup of outboard engine oils, fuel treatments, lubricants, and boat care products. Expect optimal performance from your investment by using Lucas Marine Products. Available at Cabela's. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you in part by Mercury Outboards. We're leading the pack. Minn Kota Trolling Motors. Anywhere, anytime. Triton Boats. We take America fishing. And by Arctic Ice. We put the cool in cooler. Welcome back to Mobridge, South Dakota for the final weigh-in of the 2016 season. It has been a tough week on Lake Oahe. The high winds have been the big story, and then today, flat calm. Competitors endured what they could and made peace with the rest. Now, we'll head to the scales. Rounding out the top five, the Cabela's pro Kevin McQuoid from Isle, Minnesota, finished out the week with 28.62, earning $12,720 for the week. And let's find out what he's got. Local angler Wade Weil has won here before, but today he'll settle for fourth and nearly $14,000. Fargo, North Dakota's Brian Bjorkman locked up third with a three-day total of 3014, taking home a check for 17 grand. With just two anglers left, Joe Okada stepped to the scales with the biggest sack on day three. How many fish you got in there, Joe? We only have four today. You got four fish, but they're dandies. 12.95 miles! Joe Okada takes the lead in the Cabela's National Walleye Tour Championship. That leaves just one. 
He's led this event from the beginning. Stevens Point, Wisconsin's Jason Shakira. And it's gonna work like this. Tyler, you're gonna need 10.90 pounds to take over first place. Jason, you're gonna need 5.22 pounds. How many fish do you have? I got three. He's got three. Tyler, let's find out what we got. For all the marbles in 2016, it settles in. Your weight, Mr. Shakurit. 6.67 pounds. Jason Shakurit, your 2016 National Walleye Tour Champion. Get on your feet, Mowbridge, because the best of the best just gave it their all on Lake Oahe. Jason Shakur, 2016 champion. And that does it for the 2016 Cabela's National Walleye Tour Championship from Mobridge, South Dakota. Here's a look at the Cabela's leaderboard and the final top 10. And on the co-angler side, we'd like to congratulate Eldora, Iowa's Tom Samp for the win. He'll take home the trophy and a check for better than $8,000. Congratulations, sir. Co-angler champion. You got to feel good. Is that getting heavy? A little bit. <laughs> are you still having fun, though? Oh, great time. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, you, got any, uh, you got any pros you want to thank or anybody you want to talk about? Boy, did I get a schooling. First day, Mark Brumbaugh taught me how to drag crankbaits in 50 foot of water. Next day, Tom Chemos. Ran those big waves down there, 60 miles an hour. Then we showed me how to fish the trees. And so that's gonna come in handy at home. We got a lake just like that full of, we tried to figure out how to fish them there. And then today, Joe just just put us right on him. He goes, those fish are in those trees. We're, we're gonna make them bite. Boom, nothing, got another spot. Boom, another one. It was just like clockwork. So heck of a uh, thank you to all these guys. They're, they're, We'd love to see you out on the water with us in 2017. Here's a look at the complete schedule. For more information and registration, please visit nationalwalleytour.com. We'd also like to extend a hearty thanks to the town of Mobridge, South Dakota. We've got Lake Oahe right here. It takes us five minutes to get on the water and enjoy some great walleye fishing. We're five minutes from some pheasant hunting. We're five minutes from rodeo. We're five minutes from a lot of different neat things to enjoy the outdoors. And the whole community supports it. For travel information, look them up at TravelSouthDakota.com. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is a Carico TV production. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next season.